Hiya, I'm Sophie, and today we're gonna to make the ultimate fusion food. It's gonna be the love child between Mexican food, Asian food. So burritos are so many people's favorite comfort food, but how do we make it more comfortable? I guess we give it the comforting hug of a pillowy bow. Burrito, bow, it's the burrito. So to start with, we're just gonna make the base of the filling of our bao, which is gonna be this lovely Mexican beef stew. So we're gonna roast off all these vegetables until they're nice and caramelized, which is just gonna give us really good depth of flavor. And then we're gonna to toast off some spices as well, get them really nice and aromatic. You'll know they're done when you can smell them. I feel like I can smell cumin now. It smells great. Oh, look at those, they've gone all nice and caramelized. You can see all that flavor on the tray. So those vegetables are just gonna go in there with the dried spices and some dried ancho chilies that have just been toasted and rehydrated. In Mexico, they tend to use a few different types of chili in this stew, but I'm just gonna keep it simple and use the one. If you can't find any dried chilies, that's all right. Just roast some fresh red chilies off with your other vegetables and that's gonna have a really similar effect. Traditionally in Mexico, lamb or goat or mutton might be used, but here I'm just gonna use beef because that's a bit more universally available. So now we're gonna pour our marinade all over our beef. Sludgy. We're gonna really stir it in so that the flavor permeates throughout it. And then we'll take it off to marinade and then cook it for a really long time. Marinade. Four or five hours in the oven has just made the fibers in this meat break down to such a beautiful point where it's shredding so easily and that sauce is smelling amazing. And now we just have to set it aside for a bit while we make the dough. So the bao dough isn't dissimilar to a regular bread dough. I guess the only slightly different thing going in there is the milk powder. It's not only gonna help it be a really nice soft dough because of the extra fat in there, but it's also gonna keep it a nice light color, which is really what you want in a bao. Flour down on the surface, and then we're just gonna knead it together until it forms a smooth dough. Oh, this heart's just getting bigger and bigger. I tend to knead in quite a dramatic way. I didn't want my other hand on the screen, so I'm just like doing some weird swimming. I'm gonna start breaking a sweat in a minute. I feel very Beyonce. So after you've had a little boogie with your dough, you're just gonna bring it together in a smooth ball, pop it in a lightly oiled bowl and cover it with cling film. Then you're just gonna leave it to rise for an hour or so until it's nice and airy. Whilst we're waiting, we're just gonna to blitz together a really zingy topping for our burrito. It's an avocado crema, so it's just avocado, sour cream, and some lime juice to really liven it up. And just blitz it till it's really smooth. And now we're just gonna make a really fresh side to go with it. All right, let's get weird in here. So smack cucumber salad is a really nice Chinese dish. It's gonna get a bit messy, but you just gotta bash it all up, get those seeds out, get the liquid out. Ooh, yeah. You're just gonna salt those cucumbers to draw out some of the moisture. They're gonna sit for about 10 minutes, then drain off the liquid and you're ready to add all your flavors. I've kept it quite traditional here, apart from the jalapenos. I just wanted something to tie it in with the rest of my Mexican theme, and I think the spice goes really nicely with this. Fresh, light and delicious. You can just set that to one side whilst you move on. Our bao dough's gone really airy, so now it's time to roll it out to basically form the equivalent of a tortilla wrap. So you wanna cut it in half and then roll it out into a nice, thin disc. It needs to be thin because when it steams, the dough's gonna really expand and you wanna have a good ratio of bao to filling. You wanna get loads of that beef and cheese in there. And now you're just gonna layer it with loads of cheese, your juicy beef, and roll it up. Oh, it's gonna be so juicy. I'm excited about this. The dough is really smooth and easy to work with here, so pretty much anybody could do this. My baby. This guy. So now we're gonna pop them in the steamer and you're gonna see a mad transformation occur. Look how big he gets, oh my God! So here we have it, the burrito. We've got this really super soft, shiny dough. We're gonna get that lovely avocado crema on there. And now some lovely pickled red onions. I've just soaked those in some lime juice and that acidity is so good with the beef filling. 
always chop coriander. Encased in that pillowy dough is the juicy Mexican beef stew, the birria. It's so fragrant, you can smell all those spices, you can smell the chilies, you can smell those caramelized veg. The beef is so soft and so juicy. And with that, you've got gooey cheese. Oh my God. <laughs> this is actually so mad. <laughs> I guess I'll just go straight in for you. Mm. Thomas? Mmm. Good, okay.